Campaigns Inc. is about the first political consulting firm in U.S. history and a somewhat star-studded and epic Hollywood campaign that they ran against Upton Sinclair and the development of these brutal and kind of sneaky and mischievous uh, campaign tactics that they used to bring down Upton Sinclair. Nowadays, social media controls the information that most people see in their lives. And Baxter and Whitaker knew that in 1934, they needed to control that information as well. So while we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Instagram, they knew they needed to achieve the same amount of, you know, dispersing of their information, true or not, uh, to everyone they could. So they did it with billboards, hailing straight to people's homes, newsreels before movies, and just like many people do with information they see on Facebook, people would see these things and think, okay, there it is, there's that information, that must be true. Basically, I just want to draw attention to how ridiculous all of this was, how long ago that all of this started and we're still seeing this behavior and we know about it. We're fighting against the sort of alternate version of the truth and if we can't get the real truth out there, a lot of people are going to be hurt. One thing I'd like everyone to take away from this play is that all those little elections matter so much more than people think. This particular election in 1934 potentially changed the landscape of American politics up to today even. You have to be active, you have to vote, you have to show up on that day. Because if you don't do that, then all of these, you know, this whole circus, it's just, it's just pointless. And that's why I would urge anyone, whether they are part of this event, seeing this play, never seen a play, never wants to see a play, I don't care, vote. Number one thing, please, please, please vote. Number two thing, please, please, please come see my play.